Good evening. I just said I must come for video. Like something I've started by God's grace. I must not break it. Because if I say I will rest this night, that means I want to rest tomorrow's morning prayer, which I should not do. So, by God's grace, I just said by God's grace, God will help me to come for today's Bible teaching. And I, and I thank God. I'm not feeling so good, but... I know that God is strengthening me to do the videos. Before we go on, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We appreciate you. Bless your name. Thank you for the week. Thank you, Lord, for the new week. Thank you for spreading our lives. Thank you for good health. Thank you, Jesus, for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for coming through for us at times that the enemy thought we are going to be put to shame thank you you didn't put us to shame thank you jesus blessed be your holy name father we are here to speak your word to teach ourselves from the word of god father lord i do want to speak words of my own oh lord please fill me with your holy spirit put your words in my mouth those words that will become life the bible says the word of god is life that word that is life, that people will hear and life will come into their lives. Father, teach me to say them. Please take control. At the end of today's Bible study, we want to return all glory to your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yeah, thank God. Uh, today, I think we are still in Sunday. Yes, we are still in Sunday. We have no move to another new day today i was thinking i'm going to change the topic like about christian work and all that i was thinking maybe i'm going to get a topic like that but it didn't come this topic that god is allowing me to come to talk about has been on my mind since during the week like last week we are in a new week now like last week so I was just like maybe God wants me to change it so I was just waiting for direction and I didn't see <laughs> so which means God wants me to talk about it so and now I'm here Hold on, Jesus I'm here to talk about it so um, how to be a virtuous woman in a world Every girl wants to do a cup. <laughs> Let me read it again. How to be a virtuous woman in the world? Every girl wants to do a cup. <laughs> now it's it's not. They're not even hiding it. I've been on Instagram for a few days now, and I'm even beginning to think like I'm going to give a break from Instagram. Like it's something they do. Everybody wants to do. And when you ask them why they're doing these things, they're doing it for material things. For latest clothes, latest shoes, latest bags, wigs, fake nails, fake eyelashes, fake hair. You understand? Just to appear like I'm rich. You are not rich, but just to appear that you are rich. <laughs> you understand? And uh, if we don't teach ourselves, we find out that even people that don't want to do these things, they will, they might sleep. I was listening to testimony of someone on, um, on YouTube. Let me say I was watching, and he said when he was young, he didn't have somebody to tutor him, so he made decisions out of um, the standard of God. So that means if somebody doesn't come out to teach. People may not know. People may just sleep. Their friends will just say, it doesn't matter. This one says it doesn't matter. This one says it doesn't matter. Before the person can say it matters, it will take the grace of God. Someone is saying something to you here. And these are the people you trust. You know? For someone like me, I don't make friends. I don't make friends. 
But let me say, it's not that I don't make friends like that. Like, I don't... I don't have korikosu. <laughs> I don't have friends that... Without you, I can't move. You understand? Because God has taught me in my life that... Only him can be there for me. You understand? So even if at this moment you are my friend... When God says you need to move, I have to let you go. I've let people go in my life for many, many times. So it has taught me not to hold on to someone so tightly. So if you are doing something that you want to use and tell me the way of God is not right, or that means you're no longer my friend. You have finished your work in my life. So I move on very fast. <laughs> so that's why, to the grace of God, to the grace of God, to the glory of God. Even if you are saying something, and I know it's not from God, it will not enter my heart. You understand? But what I'm just trying to say is that it's the reason is because I am not so close, close, close like that. I I allow you to go if you want to go. So, but let's say that there is someone who gets so close to someone. Like close, close like that. Is this people you meet? They are always there for you to take care of your needs. And one day they come and tell you, it's who cop that is doing this now. Who cop? Uh, where you have to go out there to sleep with man to give you money. The man is driving his jeep. Je, 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 je. <laughs> you go and use eyes to seduce him. He carry you go out, he pay you, or maybe anywhere. Like I don't know. I I feel very irritated when I see things like this. I feel very, very <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean when I see girls behaving like that. I don't know. Ah no 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 no, my spirit doesn't go with it. <laughs> I feel very angry in my spirit. You understand. They'll be doing like I don't want, I don't want, but they actually want. I don't like doing like that. You know you want to do something about it, and you're still pretending that you're a good girl. I'm not a pretentious person, I don't pretend. That's why if once I tell the guy no, you know they come back. <laughs> if I say no, <laughs> He will see his leg again. I mean, I'll not be wondering. All those girls that they used to run after them, they'll be chasing them one month, two months. How are they doing it? The reason is because they are not really, really saying no. You know, there is a type of no that you really say, I'm saying no. And there's another no that you say, No, Joe. And then I say, Please, now. I'm like, No, Joe. <laughs> but my own is, No. The way you will hear the no, it will ring. From your ear to your medulla oblongata to your heart to your body stream to your blood, you will understand it. You won't come back. You won't come back. So, <laughs> what I'm just trying to say in the essence is that let's, um, if we don't teach or if God doesn't, uh, let's call this an expository. If God doesn't give us an expository message like a uh, message like this to open our hearts, it's easy. The people you listen to, you just say, ah, "Okay, and that's what everybody is doing." You see it everywhere. You see, you, you see, even during the week while I was going through my Instagram because I was really, really on Instagram, I think I was trying to recover like I was. Usually, I'm not supposed to be online like that. I'm supposed to be doing stuff in the house, like reading, studying, um, you understand? Doing personal prayer, because I'm trying to relax. So I have to look at things that are not so serious. So most times I go to Instagram. I follow a lot of people, uh, comedians. I, I follow a lot of comedians. So, and nowadays, people that are not comedians are joining. I don't even know where I see them come. Or maybe I should say that part of those people, they are also doing stuff that is not comedy. I don't know. But one way or the other, I'm just seeing a lot of things like that. They will say it like joke, but 
I see more meanings to it. Like the case of some girls that um, they knew this guy has a wife. Or let me say some girls that know that a particular man is married. They will still stay there because of the money. Just because all the sugar daddy things and stuff like that. But not really sugar daddy because they're not very, very old. Like young boys like them, but they're married. And I'm just like... Then I'll see some other memes. Okay, they call it memes, right? Okay. Okay, still in the same group too. Some memes too that some girls will be like... Um, and the boy will ask her, are you doing new couple? You are, you have a relationship. And we're like, ah, she's in a relationship, but she still do a couple. Like, everybody, every girl is doing it now. Yes, it looks like there's money in it. To them. To them. Do you know what I was telling God um, these few days? I was telling God that God, I don't want to be a kind of girl that only clothes, shoes, but alone that you see and you say, ah, this girl is, is rich. Really my job, my status, things I'm doing should also prove that I'm a high level woman. That I don't want to just look high level. There are some girls like that. You see them everywhere. It's only their looks that look like they are rich. They appear rich. They pretend to be rich. They fake being rich but go and ask them oh, what work are you doing you might be doing something low or this hook up thing like how how far have you studied like what's the level of your qualification you can't even say anything i was telling god god i want to i want to be high i want to look rich at the same time when you check into my profile, when you check into my achievements, I want people to see high-level things there. Things that can bring money to me in a good and legal and moral way. You say, wow, she's rich. Like, not the one that you'll be holding iPhone 12, I buy iPhone 14, whatever. When they go and check your qualifications, you don't get anything. When they check what work you know you are doing, you don't get job. You don't get anything. You can't defend anything. Yet you are using the most expensive phone. Yet you you are appearing rich. I'm not saying it's not good to be appearing rich. I'm not saying I'm not condemning anything. I'm just saying my own prayer to God. God, if, if you bless me with clothes, you bless me with shoes, you bless me with house, you bless me with everything, give me good job. True. <laughs> I've been saying this thing, you know, it's one of the reasons why I'm sick, actually, because it was really troubling my mind. I was like, God, please, you just have to do it. Is either you do it or you do it. You know that kind of option. Is either you do it or you do it. And God has promised me that he's going to do it. But... To me, it has gotten into my position that <laughs> I'm trying to recover. It has gotten into my body that it makes me weak. So, what we are really talking about today, we are going to use the word of God. But I want us to talk as to heart or discussionly in a discussion way. This topic came to me after those Instagram pages and the posts talking about hook up and all that. Some will even say, eh. Uh, I have a boyfriend, but I still do hook up. Some will say, I'm married, but I do hook up. And I say, well, what about your old man? Ah, we are just friends. You know, stuff like that. And I was just like, hmm. Then, coupled with some movies I watched and, you know, God also explained some things to me. And, you know, some... Another thing I'll call it is um, asking questions, finding answers in the spirit. So I, this case of Eve came to my mind. Then, um, I don't know, was it in a movie I saw it? Or 
I can't remember. Maybe it was in a movie, but I know this is how I saw it. I I just saw it that women have influence on men. If women don't have influence on men, what makes you think Eve will bring fruit to Hidam and he eat it? He has been living his life all these years doing the will of God. Then it came to my mind again that we have women that can say, I will not push my husband to sin against God. We have women that maintains integrity with their man. Look at it nowadays. A lot of men. I'm sure if you put 100 men somewhere that got women pregnant before wedding, if you put them together, and you start asking them questions. At least 90 of them will tell you that it was never in their plan to impregnate a woman out of wedlock. I'm telling you. So where does these things come from? Then it comes to my mind that if women have influence on men, to the point that sometimes they can't even control it, it's hard for them to control it, except the woman controls it for them. Because I notice that anytime any man makes advances at me, uh, an immoral one, and uh, I speak to him <laughs> from the spirit of God, everything in his body will just calm down. <laughs> it's not once, it's not twice, <laughs> as many times as possible like that. I don't know if I will still meet such situations in my life again. But as far as God has been helping me, which I know that God will continue to help me if I was to meet such instances. All I speak to them about the word of God, everything on their mind comes down. I don't know how God does it, but it also comes to my mind. It also drops in my mind that it means you can, you can be different from the world. When a guy comes to you to tell you, oh, I want to sleep with you, I'll be your girlfriend, I'll be your boyfriend, sign saying sweet talks and all that, so you are making him to make promises. You, you, it is, it is you that God has given the power to either allow it or disallow it. That's what God was putting on my mind. At least I'm, I'm talking from my experience. I've explained to you that it's not once, it's not once, it's not twice. Like, it's not thrice gone. <laughs> I can't even count. It's many. Now they make advances at me and I will speak the word of God to them and their body will calm down. You understand? To the glory of God, not to, to my glory. I don't have any glory. Which means, sometimes, God has put you there. To be a good partner. To make this man to do right. A lady that... Before marriage... Is making you... To, or I'm not going to say that he's the lady that is really, really doing it. The man too, he has his own. Why do you go and say, come, let us live together without marriage vows? I know it's still devil that is, that is walking in between, Sha. But if you are a woman of God that fears the Lord, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to be the one to shine bright light into the life of this man. Let's do the will of God. Let's do what God says. Usually it's man that is supposed to do it at the head of the family. But now... Maybe the devil is trying to use the man or something. Then God has put you there to be a help. Let's do the will of God. Don't let us sin against God. Jesus said, how can I do this thing and sin against God? How can we do this thing and sin against God? It's not left to him. So go out there and meet our mom. 
But you, you have done your own part. And it's, it is written for you that you are a virtuous woman. You are a woman that fears the Lord. Everything you are doing, we are doing it unto God. You don't need approval from any man. Like, okay, he's the one that makes me to sleep with him. He says, she's the one that allowed me to sleep with him. That's why I'm getting married to him. That means you are looking for approval of man. But what about God? What did God say about it? Did God say you have done it right? The, the word of God is written boldly. Let the marriage bed be on the farm. Another place say, flee youthful lust. Another place say, flee fornication. The word of God is there like that. In the Holy Bible of God. Then, you now intentionally <coughs> disobey it. And you think God will say, oh, look at the person that disobey me. Oh, what a lovely daughter. <coughs> There's a place in the Bible. Let's go and read. I know I'm talking so much that it seems I'm not even going straight to the point. But I believe that the prayer we have prayed from the beginning, God will use it. Because this is not my world. I didn't. I was even thinking I would change the topic because I wanted to talk about all this Christian work and all that. But God was just, this topic was just rising more. I thought it's this Hebrews chapter one. Oh. Okay, I've seen it. it's chapter two. Hmm. Let's read Hebrews chapter two from verse one to three. Therefore, we ought to give the more honest heed to the things which we have heard. Lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him? What he's trying to say is that if those that sinned against God in the Bible or in the olden days, they received a just recompense of reward. You say, how shall we, how shall we escape? If we neglect your great salvation. How will you escape? Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God. Look, people are still suffering for that disobedience to today. And you, you will think you will, you will intentionally disobey God and God will say, oh, you, you have done well. God is not partial. It's not partial. What I'm just trying to say there is that you as a woman, you can be the virtuous woman. Today we are we are teaching ourselves how to be a virtuous woman. In a world every girl wants to be wants to do a cop. How can you be a virtuous woman? You can be a virtuous woman by firstly praying. Firstly, Confess your sins. There's nobody God cannot accept. You might have been doing it before, and then you say, I'm not doing it again. Now I want to be a virtuous woman. This message is also for you. No, God does not condemn anybody. The only thing is, God will just be telling us, come to me, come to me. There is always room for repentance. So far, there's no death. It's death alone that closes the door of repentance. So God can still accept you. It's not that you will still not eat the reward of those sins, but at least from that time on that you have come to God, another book has been written for you, has started to be written for you about the things you have started doing for God. So God is, is a good forgiver. He's, he forgives liberally. So, what I'm trying to say is that the first step you have to pray. You have to truly, truly be repentant. Then I checked the meaning of virtuous and virtue. It has something to do with morals, which means there is no day 
Do we ever say being a prostitute, doing no cop, sleeping with man aside wedding, sleeping with a man that is not your husband? There is no day they will ever call it acceptable in the society. Oh, it's, it's good. Even people that get pregnant before wedding, their parents are still kind of disappointed. They'll be like, oh, I wish that you didn't do it this way, but we thank God. You understand? Which means being a virtuous woman is something that transcends generation. Forget about what they are doing now. In the time of Noah, the world was sinful too. In the times of Sodom and Gomorrah, the world was sinful. So, so if you are saying, oh, and in 1960 something, it was not as bad as this. Um, people were not publicly public, publicizing their sexual experiences. Look at it. The morals of being a virtuous woman since then is still the same today. God still recognizes those behaviors as sin then. So today is still a sin. In gen generations to come, it will still continue to be sin. Even in heaven, when you do things that, that God also wants, it's still a sin. They still see it as sin. In heaven, there's no sin. But what I'm trying to say is that from heaven, when they look at it, they still see it as sin. You understand? So, what I'm just trying to tell us is that being a virtuous woman is something that you can pass down to your next generation. The morals that no matter where you go to, you can come out boldly and say, oh, this is what I do for a living. If you are a virtuous woman. Oh, this is what, what 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 I have done in my relationship. You 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 can come out boldly and talk about your um relationship or whatever, and people will not look at you as uh uh you are you are you are being so spoiled. You should like when you are doing things that is moral, something that doesn't leave people's hearts uh worried this depressed you know there are some things you see and people will look at it and be like mm -hmm. all this you understand but when you're doing something moral it speaks to people that and it gives them peace so today we are talking about how to be a virtuous woman firstly i said you have to be saved yourself you have to be saved another thing that made me to talk about that brought this topic to my mind was I started um, realizing it that a lot of pastors how they're catching them is from their wives how did they get their wives or let me say how did the wife get the man the wife got the man because he has made her his bosom. He has made her the, the woman of his bosom. You understand? And because she didn't choose to be a virtuous woman at that particular time, she allowed the devil to come in. So this is it. The person you get married to is very, very important. And ladies, prepare yourself to be a virtuous wife. Prepare yourself to be a virtuous wife. Don't just... Anything that goes... It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. Like, you will be doing something bad all through your years and then automatically when you get married, you automatically start doing right. It's, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You have to have been doing right so that by the time you get married, you can do rightly. So that's what we are, we are teaching ourselves. I was asking us how to be a virtuous woman. In the world that everybody wants to do up. 
Let's go to that um, Proverbs 31. He said, Proverbs 31 verse 10, Who can buy, find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. I'll talk about that line. Far above rubies. A price. It means she's priceless. You can't fling money around her and it makes sense to her. You can't be flinging your car key and it makes sense. It's not that a virtuous woman doesn't need money. She needs money. But she's moral enough to know that I don't need to mess my body up to get money. You can't prize her, you can't buy her, you can't say... Um, do you know, there are a lot of things happening. There are some men, or let me say some women, that in order to get favor for their man, they will go and sleep with a rich man and bring the money to the man, or maybe in, uh, in the office, the boss of the office. The thing is, if you have to lower your morals to get a favor you will always get to to places you will always get to points where you need favor like this past few days i've been praying to god for something i believe there is a way in trusting in the lord and the lord will show himself forth in my life by trusting in him because this is not the first time i'm trusting god and it's coming true for me where there seems to be no ways but somebody we we just say or let me say someone else will just be like oh this thing is so stressful what's the easier way oh you have to do this thing do this thing some immoral things to get the money then when you get the money or maybe the job or something another day we still come now <laughs> another day we still come now after you finish that money what are you going to eat again you still go and mess yourself up again to get the money right that is not being a virtuous woman that's not how god planned it let's read that verse 11 proverbs 31 verse 11 the heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil the heart of her husband does safely trust in her. When God created Eve, Adam said, this is the bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. But he didn't say heart of my heart. <laughs> because it's not out of his heart, truly. But when you are out of your, out of the heart with your husband, you do things relating to his heart. I'm not I'm not one of those people that train women to to be a slave of man. <laughs> Forget about it. That's not my preach. I don't preach such things in my life and I will not preach it. I'm not i I'm not a preacher of that kind of thing. Don't be a slave. Oh. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that to have a good marriage, like if you are one of those that desire a good marriage, a lot of people don't desire good marriage. Some just want sleeping together, sleeping together, have children, have children. That's all. But if you are the type that you want a good marriage, you want a marriage that both of you can be mentors to other people. You want a marriage that can be a model to other people. A marriage that when people look at it from outside, they see love. When they come close to you, they come inside, maybe they come to live with you or they come to talk to you, they see love. Like you're not pretending, you're not acting, you're not trying to be, you're not a wanna be happy home. You are real happy home. If you want a marriage like that, then both of you have to be thinking alike. He said the heart of her husband does safely trust in her. That means what she does is something that pleases the man. It's something that the spirit of this man wants to do. Do you know that a lot of men that that say, 
and don't worry i'll sleep with you i will give you money do you know that a lot of them when you go into their heart of art they don't really want to do these things but because the spirit of seduction is too much in the world now it's too much you know i was looking at these fake nails that they put put a lot of um cortex or whatever and then I was trying to think in my spirit, what is the essence of this thing, if not for seduction? It's animals that have long nails now. When we were young, as kids, when I, I was still unable to cut my nails by myself, anytime my, my mother saw our nails long, she would say, what is that, your cup? Like, it's dirty, it's, it's too long and it's uncomfortable. If animals know how to cut their nails, they're going to be cussing. Now God gives you brain to know that you have to cut your nails, but you still put extra to... What is it meant for? To make you uncomfortable. To make you... It means the spirit of seduction is everywhere. These eyelashes, these, all these things, a lot of them are, are, are possessed with the spirit of seduction. They are not just... They are not just for... For beauty they're not just for I want to feel good with myself they are seductive that is why a lot of men they're not even if you go and ask them if you ask an average man because I see some posts like that too the lady will be like and I want to get married to you after the man has left that and be like ah who want to who want to marry Olosho you know that kind of words but she can sleep with Olosho the spirit of Olosho can enter inside you, but you can't marry Olosho. It means in their heart of heart, they want something else. I was discussing with my mom. I said, why is it that men easily want to insult women? And my mom said, it's because most of the times, when a man is going out, doing everything, trying to attract you and all that, he's doing it because he wants to have sex with you. And once he gets what he wants, all the love that you think he has, everything calms down. So he comes back to his real senses. He doesn't see you as a saint anymore. He doesn't see you as something he's craving for anymore. He sees you as an enemy. So that is why it's negative things that comes out of their mouth. Because that is how they actually see you. All those, I love you, I buy gifts for you, and let me take you out. Do you need money? All those things before sleeping with you. All those ones. Ah, Lord of Jesus. Oh God, please, I need a CEO. Ah, I think I have to say it now. This thing said that is entering my house. Oh God, please, I need this. And God used to answer my prayers. I blame you. God always answer my prayers. This one I pray like this, like this. I don't know how God will do it to. Well, let me just pray it. Oh God, come and provide AC for me. Or maybe they will take me to a room that I have AC. Or maybe they will bring AC to my house. So I don't know. Anyhow, you can do it. So that I won't be opening my window. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that. That is the reason. Because that is how his spirit really sees you. And my mom now used Tamil and... Um, Amon. Is it Amon? I think it's Amon. <laughs> I can't even remember. The, I think it's Amon. Amon and Tama. You understand? That Amon was like, I love her so much. I love her so much. I love you with all my heart. I, I, I feel sick because they say I love you too much. You may have been sleeping with her. Everything died down. And it's so clearly. I can see clearly the rain is gone. It now so clearly that I, I don't love this woman. No. Get out. Get out. So my mom used it to explain to me that that is what happens. That is why easily they can insult these girls. Because they have, they have seen through them. They have seen. This is how far. This is so much. <laughs> Do you know in the olden days when we have more virtuous women than hook up ladies than Girls who really want to be prostitutes. In those days, you see a lady because she is a virtuous woman and wants to do things right. 
she will influence this man to be the best that he is supposed to be by making him come for a hand in marriage in the right way without sex before wedding but nowadays you think you are pleasing this man you think you're trying to attract this man that is why your troubles increase after the wedding you start fighting everybody in the olden days it wasn't like that ladies don't women don't used to fight anybody because of man but because you are the one that worked this relationship out you thought this man was in his right senses when he was telling you sleep with me and we have relationship you didn't know that it was just his flesh and that's how god created them i don't know why god created them like that maybe because um they are the ones carrying the seed you understand so god makes them to be always ready for sex then when you trigger the emotions in them by looks by your seductive looks it's not that these things these things are it's not that these things are beauty they're just there to seduce there's a difference between seduction and beauty beauty comes from inwards I'm, 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 I'm going to explain that. I know <laughs> some people be like, hey, let the beauty from inside come outside. No, beauty comes from inwards in the sense that before you can easily say somebody is really, really beautiful, you have to move close to the person. You have to know this person. Do you know that I've met people in my life that from the first look, I don't even like them. You understand then when i get close i say oh this person is actually nice you understand the more you get close to people the more you know that oh this person is actually beautiful you can see somebody to be pretty or attractive or something but don't let it overshadow you i will still talk to men maybe another day god will give us that topic to come and talk to men and this is my book that god has given me chance to write i know that by god's grace i will soon write it i just need to recover my body and god answer my prayers about my job because that job is the one troubling me now like i was just like god give me how will i do this how will i do that please provide a good job for me oh lord i was just like it's troubling me and I know that it's time for God to do it. Amen. It's time for God to give me a good job. Amen. So what I'm trying to say is that beauty is from getting to know somebody. Imagine I have makeup, I have everything, I have everything. You can't really see my beauty in all those makeup until I'm in my natural look. That's when you will see, oh, wow, this girl is actually beautiful. So it means, it was when you got close to me that you were able to see that I'm actually beautiful, right? For some ladies that when they go out, they put gadu, they put everything to look half flat tummy and nyash and everything. You understand? We can't really know if you actually love or if she's actually beautiful until you get close it's, it, it, with a gathered and everything by the time the big tummy comes out do you still want to be with her or the big tummy is sending you back it's where you have known the deepest things in someone that's where you can actually say oh you're beautiful but it's possible for somebody to be attractive from the first look you understand like oh i think i like this kind of person okay maybe if you see one thing that you like about the person but you can't really really say you're beautiful from the first what i'm just trying to say there is that let's build our beauty more than we allow seductive things on our on our body because these things carry spirits the spirit will just enter inside you the spirit that is following that thing, we enter inside. That's why a lot of girls are doing it. Many of them, from one man to another, they cannot. Oh, the You think this? You think? You think these men actually love you? They don't love you. Sometimes you even know that they don't love you, but because you have, you have kind of possessed with a particular spirit, you can't think straight. 
Do you know I I was I was, I read something before coming online. The lady was the woman was like, please where are they doing nyash for ten k in naira? Because her husband is following woman that do the nyash, and in my spirit I'm just like, really. That is how much these things make you to lose the right thinking you're supposed to be thinking. If your if your husband is following woman with you, yash, like that is his business. It's not supposed to be your business. Do you think you adding yash to your yash? What if you die in the process? They give him more chance to even go about following other women. Like some spirit comes upon you that makes you to lose your right thinking. It's just don't lose your crown anyhow. Don't show your pearls to the to the swine. Don't stop throwing it anyhow. Stop. Flinging yourself anyhow, like allowing animals to just have you anyhow. You're not being a virtuous woman by doing that. Keep your morals. Others me. Don't do it. Let others do it. Don't do it. Let them look at you like you cannot find husband. We will find husband. As a matter of fact, a lot of these men actually admire you. They actually want you. But because in Koto Lewo Jun, Koto Tuon Lelo, what is pursuing them is more than what they are pursuing. The thing overshadows them, to overtake them, and change that thinking, changes that direction, changes what they are supposed to be pursuing after. I I said it from the beginning that if you put 100 men together, 90 of them will tell you that they didn't plan to get a woman pregnant before wedding. I'm going to tell you that. But because what is pursuing them, the spirit of seduction is out there. And what is the house there to do? To make them lose focus? To make them lose their authority? The women are facing their problems. The men are facing their problems. So when, you, when you do things contrary to the will of God, you can't go scores free. You, you will be punished. No matter how you run, you say, No matter how much you run, God will always catch up with you. The psalmist said, if I, if I stay in the dark, he said, You are dead. If I stay in the, you know, you in the cave, he said, You are dead. I think I know that chapter. Is it not one part in nine? Mm-hmm. Psalm 139 verse 7, Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from the present? I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even death shall the hand lead me, and the right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day, the darkness and the light are both alike today. So why why do we just want to incur the wrath of God on ourselves for nothing? Do you think you have done this perfectly? Yeah, you have convinced him, you have cajoled him to get married to you. And you think, oh, praise God. Now me, we know. <laughs> God is still there. <laughs> God is still there. The reward is still there. It's just like, Needle and thread. Once needle pass, the thread is the thread is the punishment. The needle is the is the sin. You can't go without it. Well, I'm not condemning us today. I'm not trying to justify myself. I'm not trying to prove earlier than thou. In fact, I, I have lost control of of my body right now. <laughs> I can just say it like that. I feel it is the spirit of God that is talking right now. Because um, you hardly see people talking about stuff like this. So if God is allowing somebody to say it, God will fill that person with as much as possible. 
Ah, uh, and uh, when we started this video, I said, God, please put your words in my mouth. I don't want to speak words of my own. If you put it in my own words, I have many things I want to say. I have a way I want to say it. I will have something that I don't even want to say. But see how God has made us to say it. Here. So, uh, I don't want to forget some chapters I planned on reading. So, let's read this Genesis chapter 3. Um, let's read verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the highest, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did it, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. That is to tell you that women have influence. Somebody was saying mothers are very, very influential. When they say you are going to make it in life, then you will make it. Because they will continue to pray for you. They continue to do everything that will make you to make it. So, you see? It means, if your wife says, you will do the will of God. <laughs> then, nobody can say no. If Eve said, we will not sin against God, then they won't sin against God. I'll still talk about men. Because if we... If we if we say somebody is a thief, we should also tell the person that kept his thing where is that is not careful about it. We should talk to them too. But it's just two ways. Once we pay the woman more, God will use it to, to send the punishment. Once we pay man more, God will use it to send punishment to the man. Look at it now. A lot of men are becoming morons. They don't have authority. The woman can easily say, shut up. And the man will shut up. If you don't shut up, they will help you to find your size. Because they have lost their authority for a morsel of food. For sweet food, stolen food that becomes gravels in the mouth. The Bible said it now. It says stolen food is like gravels. It's not, it's not something you are supposed to be eating yet. Because I, I started now, I thought about it. Why? You know you're not ready for, for marriage. Why will you be thinking of sleeping with somebody you're not, you not ready to get married to? Why? What is making you think like that? You're thinking like that because you, you intentionally want to sin against God. If you intentionally want to obey God too, it's the same way. You will just find yourself doing it. It's, it's what you have pre-said pre in your mind. If you pre said it in your mind that I will do the will of God, you will start seeing reasons to do the will of God. Things will start coming to you. That's why a lot of you women, the man would have promised you heaven and it promised you heaven, everything. Then he'll tell you, I also listened to one. The man was like, I'm not ready for marriage. I'm not ready. I don't have money. But yes, you have been sleeping with this woman. Some even get pregnant. So go and about it. And these things are affecting the woman's body. Because once you have pregnancy, your body changes. Your body changes. Once you are about the pregnancy, you are losing your innocence. You are losing your youthful body. And when they go and do research, they see that you don't even have a baby, but you have unborn children that you killed with your own hands. Because they are dating a man that is not ready, but want to sleep with you. But you can say no. Today God is telling us that you can say no. We are reading this Hebrews chapter 11 that talks about women of faith. <clears throat> yeah. You know, Hebrews chapter 11 has been talking about um, the people of faith, men of faith. But there's a part there that talks about women. He said, women receive, that's verse 35, Hebrews 11, that's right. women receive their dead, raised to life again. What's that place trying to tell us? It's trying to tell us that if a woman said this thing is going to be possible, she will make it possible. But now God is telling us that let's do it in a faith way. 
Let's be that virtuous woman that says, my husband will fear the Lord. My husband will do the will of God. My partner, we are going to do the will of God. The evil spirit upon you that is making you want sex before marriage, get out. It will be. The real spirit that is supposed to overshadow this man, it will come out. The real spirit that will make him want to do the will of God, we overshadow the one that wants him to sin against God. If you say we are not going to sin against God, women receive their dead back to life. Things that looked impossible, this passage is telling us that God has deposited power in women to do right things. Why is it that most of the time they're always talking about virtuous women, virtuous women, not virtuous men? I'm not saying men cannot be virtuous. Men can be virtuous. But what I'm trying to say, what's, what I think the world is trying to say is that it's easy for a man to, for a woman to either be good or not good. But a man, it is the one you bring out from him that, that overshadows him. It's the one you say you want to come out, that will come out. So let's be that lady that brings out good things in men. Let's turn back. Let's return to those ages, to those years when ladies say no to sex before marriage and allow these men to come into marriage with them before sleeping with them. Let's stop all this and come and sleep with me today. Pam, you have open body. You have slept with you. You have gone. Tomorrow you'll be crying. You broke your heart. You can now you cuss them now. Stop being that kind of girl. Stop being that kind of girl that eh, you need money. Come and sleep with me for 2000 Come and sleep with me for 5000 Okay, sleep with me. I'll give you $10,000. Like how they say a pastor is doing. Like it's giving a lot of ladies. Look at the ladies. They lost everything. They lost many things. Some lost their senses. Some became blood of Jesus. <laughs> Some became immoral. Look at them. Always dancing, I almost have naked online, trying to seduce and entice other girls. You understand? Something will go out of you when you when you you sleep with this kind of man. Something, a virtue, a good thing, a moral. Look at them, they just become immoral from nowhere. You start asking, how did they happen? Because of the man they have slept with. Because they have you have exchanged their glory with money. Bible says the virtuous woman glory is without is without a uh, price. You can't price it. We are ending it now. I've talked so much to the point that I don't even know what I'm talking. <laughs> so we are ending it. I didn't know what I'm going to use up to this minute, but praise God. So we are praying. Father, we thank you. I didn't plan this video to be this long, and Father, I. Don't even know what I was saying, but I want to give you all the glory for taking charge for having your way. Let there be your holy name in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that as the word of God has come out, the grace, oh Lord. Father, I call upon you again in my life. Don't let me be that person that will just be teaching people the right things, but in my life, they are not even seeing the real things. Please help me to do the will of God. Help me, Lord, that whenever I come to do the, to talk about the will of God. It can be in my life too. In the name of Jesus. Father, come and have your way. Let this word, let it speak to everyone. Let us turn back to you. Let people look at this video and let them change. Let men too, let them see it and say, Oh, so this is the reason I'm having this kind of problem? Oh, I will, I will do the will of God. Let ladies also, let them change, oh Lord. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Thank you for... Joining me. Good night. Bye.